Welcome to the VGL 2v2 season. We are in week one play, and we are here to uh, watch uh, Mord, a former VGL champion, and his new partner Satchmo take on VGL newcomers Chromix and Timba EC. Uh, Timba EC being a Terran player known for extremely fast play and a little bit of a sense of humor, as we can see in the chat. And uh, Chromix, uh, completely unknown, uh, we'll have to see how he opens and uh, and what his playstyle is. We do see early scouting from Chromix as he wants to find out where they are. Uh, we do see an Overlord from Satch going out to find out as well. And uh, some typical macro play from uh, both Mord and Satch. Uh, no early six pulls this time. Uh, if, you, if you hadn't yet, I uh, guarantee you, if you check out a week one play of uh, Dude from Brazil and Cello, you'll see some interesting six pool play that definitely caught everyone off guard and makes... Uh, pretty much every double zerg suspect. We'll have to see how Mord and Satch play it, as they uh, are very methodical zergs. Mord, of course, being a former champion of one of our VGL 2v2 tournaments. Uh, his partner Zolus from that match, uh, not present in this tournament due to scheduling conflicts, so he will take on his new partner uh, Satch, uh, also a very, very skilled zerg player. You see Chromix creating very complicated lines of routing as he continues to scout checking on any kind of expansions. We do see uh, mutual assistance here on the walling effort as Timba and Chromix both go ahead and contribute to the walling effort. See uh, Chromix going through the mineral line. Oh, just stopped just short of that. And that was good that he did because Mord would have definitely made him pay for it. Uh, Mord is a mechanics master and harassment specialist. And uh, we will have to see. He's been playing a little bit of the macro game. A little bit of a, of a takeaway from him. Considering that he is normally just pure harassment. We'll have to see if the Mord harassment machine has been permanently retired. And replaced with a macro maker. Or if there will be something else. And oh, Mord did completely did not jump on that chance to take down that probe. Uh, very uncharacteristic, as usually the aggression level on Mord is very high. Uh, Satchmo being uh, you know, a fellow Zerg player and, uh, and Mord's partner, and uh, you have to wonder if anything of Mord is rubbed off on Satchmo. Will we see a second mini harassment machine born from this play? Uh, being a VGL newcomer, we'll just have to see how this plays out. Uh, meanwhile, back at the Timba and Chromix base, we see a little bit of problems with the wall as Timba finally figures out uh, which part? Nope, doesn't look like he still has that figured out. And there we go. Timba now knows which end goes in and who's the catcher and the receiver. And uh, meanwhile, back, uh, Chromix is still playing merry-go-round as uh, this drone tries to play a little Merry and Betty grab ass, but uh, no luck yet in trying to catch this probe. We do see a second base going down for Mord as he will take a macro approach. We see also a Roach Warren going down, becoming a big Mord staple to have a Roach Warren early. Really enjoys having those roaches, especially against Protoss. You see a queen finally coming out, and Satch will send this probe home uh, in spirit, not in body. Evolution Chamber also going down for Satch, and we see Zergling speed at the halfway point. A couple of Zerglings out on the map, but we see Satch taking some early map control, cello style, going for those Zelnaga towers. Uh, meanwhile, over here at the Timba, Chromix mutual defense walls. We see lots of gateways going down. We see the barracks going down. Looks like a typical gateway barracks push. We'll have to see if this will be. A, it looks like it's going to be a little too late for a five and a half minute rush. Looks like it's most likely going to be a seven minute push. Do you see a few zerglings starting to rally up here at the front? We see an evolution chamber also going down for Mord, and most likely to jump into Lair. And we do see lots and lots of saturation. Take a look at the income tab. Everyone's fairly even. Timba a little bit behind on the workers. Do you see Chromix pulling ahead, and there's a scan. Uh, that scan typically not being used for a mule means that it's being used to prep some kind of attack. We do see Satchmo taking a page out of Mord's former playbook and doing a little bit of recon as well as harassment. He's going to find nothing but a big solid wall here. He will see that there are no warp gates, however, not even being research warp gates. Looks like looks like uh, Chromix is going for charge lots more than he's going for the warp gates. A very interesting move on his part. And we do see a little bit of check here uh, for any kind of extra bases. A little too early for that, especially for a Terran and uh, Protoss player. But, um, you know, always good to check now, just in case. You don't want to get caught with your pants down with an early expansion like that. And uh, we see some creep spread coming from Mord. See nice base composition here as he gets everything saturated. Uh, we do see a few, uh, few drones saturating now the expansion. Another queen out. And we see Satchmo going for these rocks. Very, uh, very similar to the cello play that we saw on this map. Uh, in his matchup, he went for that early gold as well, had it denied by Void Rays. Doesn't look like he's going to have that problem here, since it looks like mostly a Zealot 
And, uh, oh, looks like we have a little MM with, um, with some, uh, Heli in play. That's gonna play out very well. Uh, looks like he may catch this a little off guard. He's got the research for the charge lot still pending. We don't have enough roaches here to really do much damage, and this zealot heli and heavy thing is going to make quick work, and he catches them off guard. He actually caught the zerglings going out for a scouting run, and these, uh, this queen and these roaches is not going to be enough. We see a few more zerglings running in at the back here. Those hellions are just going to shred it, and this is not looking good at all. Uh, this is not looking good. We see Mord pulling back his queen, trying to solidify as much as he can again, trying to take down a couple of these last zealots here, even just the MM, a few roaches rolling in to try and defend, but this is not looking good, and we see, uh, we see lots and lots of marines just rolling in here, we see more zealots coming in off the, off, off of the base, this is definitely a very strong push here, and this timing push may have caught them just at the right time, we see the champion flailing here, trying to get some bases here, trying to get some, some, uh, some units constructed here, Satch, is, has not been able to send anything and help at all. You see, see two spines going down. He's preparing for the long haul of this assault. We see a few roaches popping out in the hat. We, oh my goodness. You see all these Hellions rolling in here. Not going to be good against these roaches, but these uh, these Zealots with charge are going to be able to surround these roaches a little too easy. These Zerglings, unfortunately, just going to completely go down. And uh, Satch's Zerglings as well are going to be met by these Zealots, and they're just going to completely shred them. And this is just not looking good at all. I see this base just being picked apart as these newcomers are completely handing more the message saying hey you may have been a champion once but we're here to try and dethrone you and this is just what a strong message to send especially being new to the VGL circuit just complete complete annihilation of everything Mord is throwing at them he just cannot make units fast enough see Sat sending in even more units to try and help out and these Zerglings are just, I mean, they're, they're nipping away at these Zealots, but just not enough. And we see finally some of these units winding down. These Roaches will take care of the rest. And just as I say that, another mass of units rolls in. As we see another batch of Hellion Marine Marauder with some Zealots to escort them. And we see once again more Roaches going down. They're finally going to try to take down. And if they take down this Roach Horn, I don't know what's going to happen. Because this is going to be just Zerglings versus a very strong anti-Zergling force. And this is just not looking good at all. We see more research coming down. We see more <laughs> We see more spines going down. And Satch just doesn't know what to do at this point. He is just completely beside himself watching his friend, his mentor, his champion, just completely being annihilated by these guys. And, and Timba and Chromix just putting severe pressure. What a, what a strong opening and introduction for them to the VGL circuit. Just look at this. Just completely taking out the, the, the main base. Of, uh, of Morty here, just completely, completely surprising turn of events here. And uh, we finally see some defense going down as Mord is going to try to hold his new main base, which used to be his natural, as we see all these units rallying up. We're going to take down some of these overlords, try to supply block Satch, and they will succeed after taking down this overlord. And Mo having Satch completely supply block, uh, this is not looking good. Supply block problem is being solved by Chromix's Zealous as he just completely shreds these Zerglings. These spines, however, are gonna fend him off as he does not have enough. And oh, this is not a this see this is a little reckless on Timba's part trying to brute force this. You know, I, I, they're having some early success here against these two Zerg, but don't push it. You lost a huge amount of force in that. You know, uh, Timba is completely. Uh, just got his army completely picked apart. That was a very bad move. With all the advantage they had on that early push, they wasted it by just suiciding that marine mass in, into those units. And you see finally the zergling mass piling up enough to try and take down as much of the, of, of the lingering forces as possible. Just a small group of zealots uh, still defending outside the base. And uh, one zealot over here trying... Uh, and unfortunately, uh, he's not going to get much further either. And we have the last of these units, Mord, immediately rebuilding his base, showing absolutely no fear, showing nothing but professionalism and complete composure in what was a completely frantic turn of events. I mean, uh, incredibly shocking. We do see some units starting to pile up here, but it's going to be a much harder uh, feat now with four spines and a lot of zerglings and roaches. And uh, you have to see what, what, what Chromix is going to do. Chromix still, uh, he's throwing down, looks like two more gateways. Still no warp gates, though. Very questionable on that. And we do see Timba transitioning into a starport build. Very clever. 
with a tech lab going down as well, he's most likely going to try to go for some stealth, try to get as much surprise as possible as right now. He knows their economy is reeling, and they probably don't have much in stealth detection, especially in Mord's case. Uh, he doesn't even have a layer. We do see Satch has taken advantage of all these attacks and built an alternate base on the opposite side. A very good move on his part. Very, very wise, as this will definitely give them an economic edge, and it's hidden completely, as I'm pretty sure Chromix and uh, Timba do not expect them to expand outside of their bases, since they have this very strong contain. See Chromix finally going down for an expansion as well, way off in the distance. Uh, doesn't want to build anywhere near or deal with these rocks most likely. So he's just going to try and build something far out. We see them take away the last of the outside vision they have, and they have successfully contained Morden Satch, with the exception of Satchmo's one uh, expansion out here, which he needs to be careful, spawning units from there, that these units don't run into the back of this army. And you see them completely trying to bait these Zerglings, and uh, just kind of pulling back here a little bit. Just a huge mass of, uh, of Zealots here. And, uh, you know, you have to wonder, uh, Timba having his units on hold here, uh, just outside of the range of this one spine, uh, showing some excellent discipline in waiting for the attack. He really wants to try and get these Banshees into play. These Banshees will definitely go a long way trying to snipe those spines. Now his two starports down, ready to go. Uh, he has not started researching Cloak yet, but at this point he has nothing that can even shoot him down to worry about. So Cloak is really an afterthought. We see Mord starting to saturate his main base and rebuild from the disaster that happened earlier. And uh, we see a scan going down, most likely an eco check, and they push in. You see these zealots being completely pushed out, and uh, these zerglings just uh, just kind of kiting back and forth, trying to taunt them in a little bit. And uh, it looks like Chromix has learned his lesson and put himself on hold with a Banshee hovering out. Don't want to take too long with that Banshee. You're going to give them time to counter it. Want to try to hit as soon as possible. But it looks like uh, Timbo wants a few more Banshees before he rushes in there and, and tries to, to push through. This, this Zergling mass could definitely use a, uh, a little bit of the Baneling touch. We do see a Spire coming down now. No Banelings to see of yet. Uh, we do see Mord finally getting the double gas back in on his main. A few more, uh, another Banshee joining, and one more flying in. Lots and lots of Zealots. No upgrades so far in any of, on any of the Terran or Protoss units. And they, this is going to definitely be one hell of a showdown as they try to take and break through this ramp that is now heavily fortified with Zerg units and Spines. This is going to be a very tough challenge, especially with, uh, with, with this ramp is a little bit bigger than you... Than, than you typically expect, but it's still a very narrow passage for such a large group of units. Really need to try and take advantage of uh, of those banshees and try to snipe as many of those spines as possible. Free up a little bit of the way. See the roaches are just growing impatient. They're going to go ahead and roll in, try to try to bait as many of them in as possible. But since those units are on hold, you do see some stalkers and even more banshees coming in. This is definitely going to be one hell of a battle. You see these banshees completely sniping out these spines here. You see the roaches still trying to bait them, but. No dice, as all these units are on hold position, and these Banshees are just going to go ahead and roll in completely uncontested and try to snipe out as many of these things as possible. We do see some Mutalists coming in to try and save the day against these Banshees. However, he does have Cloak. Timba can easily Cloak those, and it looks like he will opt not to Cloak them. And uh, he's just running around trying to escape all of these uh, all of these Mutas here, and he is, he is not Cloaking. He's gonna, uh, he finally Cloaks after losing two, maybe three Banshees. And uh, they're going to go ahead and roll in, but unfortunately those Banshees were out of commission for so long running from those Mutalists that he's not going to have enough firepower to take down all these Roaches. This Siege Tank, thankfully, is going to make up some of the difference, but it's still going to come very, very close. And uh, they finally force Mord to retreat, and they break through the bottleneck. Siege Tank unseizing to come in. We do have some, uh, some high Templars, but it's going to take a while for that energy to charge up. An upgrade finishing for Mord, and uh, we see Chromix Observer keeping an eye on things. These Banshees are going to roll in here, try to snipe as much as possible. Meanwhile, these Roaches are going to make quick work of the remaining forces from Chromix. And it's really just this Air Force that goes uncontested right now, trying to snipe Mord's, uh, Mord's new main base. And uh, there's just not much to stop him, as all he has is uh, Roaches, which obviously cannot shoot the air. We do need some of these Mutas to come into play. They finally come in right as the energy starts to run out on these Banshees. And they're going to go ahead and take these down, and they're even doing damage to the Cloaked to the cloak banshees thanks to the nice bouncing effect of their uh, of, of their projectile weapon and they go ahead and take down the remaining one of that 
they also have uh, observers now, uh, I'm sorry, overseers I should say, to also detect. And y you see now the Muta Force coming out, that will definitely handle any more problems that they'll have. Now there's a big, big issue going on with Chromix and with Timba. As you can see from all the rushing and all the constant pressure they've been putting, they completely forgot to expand. And this expansion is now going to sway the balance it's slightly in favor of Mord and Satch, since they do technically have more resources at their disposal, even though Mord has continued to lose bases. Satch has this secret base that they completely failed to uh, scout. And this secret base is now going to fuel what's left of the war machine here of Mord and Satch and give them an opportunity to try and fight back, as Chromix and Timba really have no choice at this point but to hang back and try to expand. Those expansions, of course, being eaten alive by Mutalists that are now going around sniping, trying to make sure that they do stay as starved as possible. We see Timba finally going for an expansion at 21 minutes. A very late expansion there. And this is now swaying dramatically in favor of the champion and his partner Sachmo. And this just goes to show you that experience and ambition are not mutually, uh, you know, uh, they do not cancel each other out because all the ambition that you saw early on from uh, from these newcomers is now being counteracted by by very strategic planning on Sachmo's part to get this external base and try and keep their economy alive long enough to outlast the non-stop harassment from Timba and Chromix. So Timba and Chromix now uh, basically counting pennies as they try to save up as much minerals as possible and successfully expand, Timba really needs to move all those workers over here. He is, uh, he is way over mining what few minerals he has left. And uh, Chromix trying to rally what little units he have. See Satch go ahead and telling Mord to take them. Uh, I'm assuming he means these units here and just try to rally together. See a nice big ball of Mutalis here rolling in to a completely unguarded base. And Timba has failed to move these SCVs out of the way. And if Satchmo moves on this base right now, he will take out all of the workers. And that's exactly what he's going to do. He's just going to roll in and take out all of Timba's workers. So he failed to move to the expansion. And he just lost any economic bounce back potential that he had. And now he's down to four workers, one of them temporary. And he's going to go ahead and just take down the rest of these. As Satch is just raining hell down on what's left of the economy of Chromix and Timba. A shocking turn of events as such a strong starting push has now become a frantic battle of survival as completely uncontested units just rampage Chromix's space with this stalker ball desperately chasing them as they have absolutely no economy. Zerglings all over the map. Uh, Satch's base you know, probably ready to expand, looks like, into another base here. And uh, Satch's bases just continue to grow. See this massive ball of roaches and zerglings. And uh, it is just not looking good at all. A single four uh, riding the hopes and dreams of everything that was that starting push. It is just not looking good at all right now. And th this is truly where the experience starts to shine. You see Mord kept his cool through that, that entire exchange. He allowed Satch to do what he needed to do and did his best to essentially die slowly. As Kid, another VGL uh, veteran, will say, sometimes your job as a teammate is just to die slowly. And that's exactly what Mord did. He died slowly and he let his new partner shine for a little bit and do the bounce back, do the extra expansion. So now Mord is going to go ahead and get his revenge as his, as his enormous... Uh, Roach Army just makes quick work of all these Stalkers, Thors, and Marine Marauder. And this will pretty much be the game as these Roaches will have nothing else left in their way. Mutalis coming in just to take down uh, the remaining air units. And uh, you see Timba giving, uh, giving a GG and uh, also saying that, you know, hey, I thought we had you there for a second. And uh, many opponents have said that to Mord. And you see a nice little happy face from Mord as he, uh, you know, also very humbly admits that he thought maybe he, uh, he, had, he had seen his last day on that battle. But uh, Mord and Satch pulling out an amazing comeback victory from what was an extremely strong and aggressive push from Chromix and Timba. We'll have to see how this plays out in Game 2 in this Best of 3 series.